Hey guys, this is Shay with Chalkin' with Shay. I've got a really great project today. Okay. Just waiting a couple minutes to see if people will show up. We're waiting for you to show up. I know you're going to. Okay. Christina. We are doing the, um, What's this guy called? Oh. This is Home for the Holidays Collection Vintage Bug. So I'm just going to snip away here. Okay, we're also doing the I'll Be Home for Christmas, and this one is also the Home for the Holidays collection, Jingle All the Way. Okay. This is going to be a really pretty one. Okay, so we're not going to use the jingle all the way part. but we are gonna use these parts. Okay, so I think this is all gonna fit. And we're also gonna make some trees. So this is gonna be quite a lot of moving parts. And I'm trying to think, this bottom portion, this is number two. And this one's number three. So, all right, we'll just play around here. Okay, so if this is number one, I will put that down first. And we will make that guy red. Um, yeah, so this fits on here just nicely. So we are using the, um, this is the Sylvie frame. It's a 12 by 18 size. And we're putting it sideways. And actually I have it upside down. I don't know what it is about me that I always accidentally make these upside down. So I am learning from my mistakes here. All right, so let's do the I'll be home for Christmas part. And I'm going to fuzz this. Hi, Mary.
Okay. So I was considering making the whole thing white, but I think I'm going to make Christmas silver. Got a little something on the transfer here. Okay. So, um, I really am tempted. You're recovering from surgery and you can't set. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Are you able to lay down at least? Okay, um, we're just going to, I guess we'll do this in silver. Yeah, I'm going to do this in silver because I'm going to add some snowflakes. So that makes more sense. I'm just going sideways here. It makes it a little easier. Okay. Looks very nice. You can lay down and stand, but just not sit. It's on your tailbone, so you can sit on your stitches. You can't sit on your stitches. Hi, Nicole. Thanks for joining. Well, that's a bummer, Mary. How long is that surgery, or how long is that recovery going to be? Okay, so we're done with the white for now. Now we're going to move to silver. And I want to make sure it's on there tight. Okay. is interesting how this chalk like as I scrape it it's giving me like an extra little uh, glob that I can just spread down and continue on down the row that's really neat but now I need a little more I don't know if that made sense. You have to try it to see what I mean. Speaking of trying things, if you guys are anywhere near 
um, Westchester or Cincinnati, I am having a winter wonderland on um, December 8th. And if you've never tried this, now's your chance to try it because I am letting everybody try it for free. Very cool. I love the shimmer paste too. Hi, Debbie. Two weeks you get your stitches out. Okay, well that's not so bad. Okay, so... Try this real good. This already looks really good. Hope you guys can see it okay. I wish Facebook would allow me to do it horizontally instead of vertically. You'd get a better view of my desk. show you guys the pillow that we've been making the past couple of days because it's all finished. So if you can remember, we did um, the Santa Claus is coming to town with the cute little reindeer. And then, but see Mary, whenever we flip the phone, it always goes sideways on the, it goes sideways on Facebook. And then on the back, we have Joyful Christmas with the truck and some trees and I added a few I added a few little things here here's an axe and um, on the truck I added a little wreath with a bow it's really cute let me show it to you can you see that and let me show you guys the snowflakes I use two different colors I use tide and teal and they look so good. I'm really excited about this pillow. Okay, moving right along. So the bug, this is step one. We're going to make this red. We're going to fuzz it up. Okay. Oh, hi, Tracy. Thanks for joining. Oh, actually, you know what? Before I do this, I was going to add some trees. And I want the trees to be in the background. Would the truck fit with this one, this design? Yes. The truck is about the same size. some new I have a new color that I have not used yet this is rainforest and um, thank you Tracy um, so I wanted to try this new color I have not we've got like five or six different hi Nicole we've got five or six different um, greens this year 
Um, so I am just now getting into them because I already had so many other greens that I didn't need it. So I am just now for the first time getting to experience those other colors. And this looks like the perfect color for a Christmas tree. Okay, I wonder if I maybe want to add a second tree. I kind of feel like I do, but I'm going to have to do these one by one. Okay, um, I'm going to have to move this aside, and, uh-oh, ah, everything's falling, okay, I have some fun things for this design, this is going to be really cool, okay, um, I'm going to put this aside for now and I'm gonna wash this transfer because we're gonna I think I'm gonna make three of these Um, oh, I need a towel. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this next couple of ones is I'm going to, without washing it in between, I'm going to do two of them. And I'm going to make one of them kind of down low and, and off, like a little bit smaller. So it's gonna like the the um, the car is gonna be on top of it. Actually, that might dwarf it. Um, I'm gonna make it taller here. That's crooked. Okay, so we have that. Let's try this rainforest again. Okay, so this next one's going to be a little tricky, very tricky actually, because I need, actually I'm not going to be able to do that second one until this completely dries, so I am going to have to wash it in between.
kind of tricky doing it with one hand. Okay, so now I'm going to take this one, put it next to it, and up a little bit. And that's going to... I just can't think um, how I want to do this. I think I'm going to put it down lower. And kind of cram it into the corner there. I, I'm not gonna. I better wash this in between. It's best not to rush it. Okay, I need some Clorox wipes. These Clorox wipes makes everything better. can dry it. So I'm going to feel much better having washed this in between. Um, meadow green. Well, I don't have meadow green, but I do have parakeet, so that's what I'm going to use. Forest green, or not forest, what is this? Rainforest was the first new one that I had, and I've been making a lot of designs with like a eucalyptus color, so I thought I would try this color for something different. Okay. Uh-oh, something got wet here. I think water dripped from somewhere and it got on that tree. Well, that's a bummer. Let's just dry it real quick. That'll get hidden by the second layer. Okay, so this guy I'm going to just cram into the corner. Okay. You guys able to see okay? Okay, that's going to look really good. Now for the second layer. So we're done with this green. I like to get all of the colors so that I can really get to know them well. Um, since I sell them, it just really helps to be able to know exactly what color each one of these are. Like you just really get to know 
what colors go with what. Um, double layer of trees here. Okay, next we need the second layer of trees. And here it is. This is kind of hard to see. Because this this rainforest is pretty dark on the on the black chalkboard. You wish the singles were sold differently. How do you wish they were sold? Oh. This needs to be mixed and I cannot use that I need hang on guys let me go grab another one okay we're using green envy instead actually I'm gonna go get I have a parakeet um, in my inventory. Hang on real quick, guys. I'm back. Okay. Well, um, I think a variety pack would be good. Um, I do like having singles be too because if you have singles, then you can easily just say, well, I'm running out of red, so I want to buy a pack of red. If you, um, because then that way you're not getting too many of the same, you know, too many of colors that you don't need. I kind of splattered that green all over. Okay. All right, here we go. Brand new because I love it so much. Okay, so here we go. Oh, it looks really great. I'm going to have to wash these in between, unfortunately. That green is just so dark that it's really hard to see underneath. contrast here of the two different greens looks really good. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. OK. 
Okay, now moving on to the other side. hard to see but I think I got it okay the paste is the perfect consistency tonight you want it to be a nice, liquidy consistency. Beautiful, that turned out gorgeous. Um, the trees did not come with the, with the VW bug. I'm trying to think what the trees did come with. Um, I'm not even sure to be honest. I would just go into the website and look at all of the transfers until you find it. We have some that came with the add-on truck, but this is not that. Okay, now we need to wash it one more time. And then we're done with all the washing. So this is a board eraser. This guy is magic. Uh, he gets all of the ink and the chalk off of your transfer so that it doesn't stain which some people might not mind that staining, but it drives me crazy. So, and this self-healing mat that we sell is also amazing um, because you can just wash your transfers right off onto this and it doesn't even stain it. That is assuming you wipe it off right away. And our fuzz cloth is great because the one side is for fuzzing and the other side is for drying. The other side has a microfiber and it makes it a lot easier to dry. It just really gets into the silk screen and gets that dry. Then I like to use a hair dryer just to make sure it's completely dry. 12 packs aren't good for customers who don't want to, but a whole jar either. Well, if somebody's wanting, I mean, I, I mean, I, I would prefer that a customer buy a three ounce because then they're not going to be constantly buying the more expensive two ounce singles. So if they're going to want a lot of something, they need to just buy the three ounce and that's going to be a much better value. Okay, one last time. I hope I'm getting this lined up. It's really hard to tell really kind of stabbing in the dark. If you have a good liquidy paste like this is, you can get that done real easy. Oh, that was perfect. Okay. Done with that part. And we are done with this green.
Okay, let's see. Here is the lid. All right. Let's dry this real good. These trees look awesome sauce. Okay, now for the bug. And the bug is going to go over the trees, which is what I wanted. Okay, so the first layer is going to be red. This red is the candy apple. I guess I'm going to do the whole thing here in red and then that second layer is going to give me the tires. At least I hope so. This is like the second the second candy apple jar that I've used this season. So Mary, you know, people do get through them pretty quickly. Um, I'm all ready for my third one now. Okay. Looking good. That is red, red, red. So this definitely needs to be dried. Hi, Jamie and Denise. Welcome, guys. Okay, level two. Oh, this one is level two. Um, I think I'm going to give it white tires. Okay, this needs some water. This I love. This is our squirt bottle. I love it because you just press it once and it sprays the exact amount that you need to give your 
paste a little jolt of liquid to make it that exact consistency that you need. Now sometimes you need to do more, but for the most part, that one is really all you need to liven it up. Okay. I got a lot of leftover chalk here. Let's scoop all that up. Okay. Yeah, I think that white is good. Not everybody likes white tires, but I think it really um, makes it stand out. Hi, Cassie. layer. Oh, actually, we're going to add snow to all this, too. I want to get this put away. I actually, I'm going to leave that out because I need to find another red to add to that. We're getting low on the white too. Um, let's see. White is put away, and okay, all right, I hope, I think you guys can see that pretty good. Okay, so now we're going to be doing silver again. That is a lot of silver. I actually probably could have used the um, handled squeegee on this, but I didn't even think to until I had already started. I got all kinds of excess here all over my fingers too. Okay. Very cute. Okay, I think this is going to need a second layer because it is um, hard to see over here and over here. And I want to make sure the end in here, I want to make sure that that's really prominent um, since it's covering up the trees. But other than that, it looks awesome. So um, 
We're not quite finished. I want to add some snow. But let's get this put away for now. And I need a Clorox wipe. Okay, where's the lid to my silver? Where did you go? Here it is. Okay, so we're gonna add some snow. But I wanna make sure this is dry first. I love how that second layer, layer added all the details for the car. I mean, like, it's just perfect little outlines. Okay, so now, oh my gosh, you know what? We forgot something. Um, I was going to add some Christmas presents, but if I do, I wonder if it's going to cut off the Christmas part. I mean, it's going to. might be okay. I hope it is. I got some water on here again. What is causing all this water? I have no idea. Okay, um, just gonna go with it. We'll see what it looks like. If I mess it up, I mess it up. I can always redo it. So this color has quickly become my favorite. It's called Almond, and it looks like a buttercream color, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay. So we're going to dry that. told you lots of moving parts tonight and next I was going to add gold so it's going to be like a cream and gold package wrapping paper um here we go so we want to line it up just perfectly and then add our gold this will be interesting with it totally covering up the Christmas part. Not sure if I'm going to like it. Okay. 
Okay, it looks great. It does cover up the S and the T, but you know, who can't read through that? I think we all can. I think it looks great. Those Christmas presents look awesome. So now we're gonna dry this. I love how the layers just put everything together. Just gives you two different colors, two or three different colors, and it just outlines everything just perfectly. Okay, so now what we have is a string to hold it all together, to tie it to the, um, tie it to the car. Um, although, hopefully that looks right. And I'm going to use white for that. Here I thought I was done with the white. You gotta have something tying up the presents. Cute. This is all so stinking cute. Okay, next. Oh, we leave the white out. We got snow to build. Okay, snow, here we come. We have, this transfer is just for the snow. Now, this was all a package. This came, the you have the snow, the presents, and this actually is what might have given us the trees too. Um, the snow, the presents, I can't remember what else. Okay, so I'm gonna do some snow over here. And I'm literally gonna cover the whole thing with snow. Well, I mean, I'm gonna do all of these. Get that excess off. Voila. Then I'm going to add one more set over here. feels like a Friday to me, guys. I don't know why, but it does. Okay. Snow, snow, snow. All right, so that was tonight's project. And I will show the whole thing to you guys here in just a minute. I actually have some white over here. Okay, so I still need 
to fix up this bottom part here. So I will do that after I clean off my transfers. Um, I got a huge bucket of transfers over here that need to be washed out first. So let me show you. So again, this is on the um, Sylvie frame. It's the 12 by 18. What do you guys think? If you like it, give me some hearts. Because that really helps my business when you do that. Alright, so again, um, if any of you guys are local to me, which is in Westchester, I live in Westchester, but if you're in Cincinnati or Dayton, um, please come out to my Winter Wonderland on December 8th because I'm going to have some discounted, um, discounted products. I'm going to have a whole bunch of finished products that you can purchase. Um, I'm going to have... Um, you can try Chalk Couture for free if you've never tried it before. I'm going to have raffles. You can win some free stuff. If you bring some friends, you can come on out and um, get some extra raffle tickets. So um, it's going to be a really fun day. It's December 8th from 2 to 5 p.m. So I hope you all can come. Um, if you're interested in monthly workshops, uh, comment below workshops or send me a personal message actually is the best way to get a message to me because um, Facebook won't let me send a message to you unless we are friends so send me a message and um, let me know that you're interested in my workshop so thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to y'all later bye bye